transition. Eric Adams in New York City has been indicted um, by the federal government. This is the first New York City sitting mayor who has been indicted by the federal government in 170 years. And he is being indicted for acting as an agent of a foreign government. Another high-ranking U.S. politician who is acting in consortium with foreign agents. Not Israel, of course. Those ones don't get charged. Uh, Turkey, actually. And it's actually kind of a, a weird minor charge, but it makes me wonder... Because um, it's like, what they're accusing him of is that a bunch of Muslims in New York funneled funds from the Turkish government on their behalf into the campaign of Eric Adams, who is the mayor. Um, and at the time uh, when he was running, he promised them a mosque. Uh, Turkey wanted this mosque in New York City. They had trouble getting the permits required to get it built. I'm assuming that it's not even just because it's a mosque, because getting anything done in these fucking metropolitan hell holes is like a nightmare. I want to say that, like... No, I'm thinking of London. They wanted to build this um, train in London, and it's cost like 30 years, and the majority of the expenses are just administrative legal expenses. Like, they're trying to build a train track, but almost all the money that they've allotted for it goes to fighting for permits and all sorts of bullshit like this. So they're never going to get this train built. They're just going to be laboring in the in the Ministry of Truth or whatever in, in London for the next 50 fucking years trying to get a train track built. Um, no, it's not the Ground Zero Mosque. They have that. The Ground Zero Mosque was a mosque like two blocks away from the Twin Towers. And it wasn't even a mosque. It was like a Muslim youth center or something. But a lot of people got pissed off about that because Muslims have a habit of whenever they conquer a foreign country, they build a mosque like in, in the heart of the, the conquered lands. So they said that that was that. But that shit got built a long time ago. That's been done and done. This is just a different mosque. And for whatever reason, they couldn't get it done. Um, so they, the government of... Oh, I'm wrong. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking of the Ground Zero Mosque, but I'm wrong. It was a, a, a consulate. The Turkish government wanted to build a consulate in New York City. Completely different from a mosque, I guess. Um, and they couldn't get it done. They wanted to build like just an office for their um, their State Department in New York City. And they've been having a terrible time doing it because it's New York City. Um, so they paid for this guy's election with the assumption that once he was in, he would uh, grant them a, a the consulate in, in the city. And I, I, just, I don't even know why this is such a big deal. Why is this so hard? If you have enough of a foreign people living in a city that you need a new consulate there to facilitate their state actions. What's the, what's the difference? You know what I mean? Like, why can't they build their fucking consulate? I'm sure there's, oh, you know, the Israel has a consulate in New York. And not only does the Israel have a consulate in New York, New York city's metropolitan police department has an office in Tel Aviv. Because there is so much inner correspondence between New York City and Tel Aviv that they needed to open a... F the, the city level police needed to open a branch in Tel Aviv because there's so many people moving back and forth between these two places that it, it was necessary to conduct official actions efficiently. But you, Turkey can't open a fucking consulate for their, their government? Well, that's retarded. Anyways. Um... He countered this, by the way, and he, Eric Adams, I think is, I'm going to assume he's a Democrat. I don't know for, I didn't actually look this up. I'm going to assume if he's the mayor of New York City, he's a Democrat. But he's been basically saying that the government has dumped like hundreds of thousands of immigrants in his city and they're completely overwhelmed. And occasionally he does like a shuck and jive on television and blames the federal government for, for doing this and mishandling the immigrants. And just dumping them in New York City. And he keeps asking for more mo money for them programs and shit. So he gets up there and he says, like, the government's um, corrupt. The government's dumping immigrants in here. It's making the New York City taxpayer foot the bill for all this shit. They're not giving us more money for them programs. And then he gets indicted for acting as an agent for a foreign government. When all they're trying to do is build a consulate, which I don't see the issue of this. Um, and he's saying that they're actually trying to sabotage him. Because he's pointing out that the government is doing this terrible thing with the, the immigrants, and it's their fault, and they're trying to hush them up. So that's his accusation and response. Um, 
which is kind of funny. That's like a right wing talking point. Like we're talking too much about like the government's corrupt and we're talking too much about immigrants. So you're trying to hush us up. Maybe he'll switch sides. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? You know what else is funny? I don't remember where I saw this. I think I might have mentioned this before, but it's really funny. In New York City, they don't have trash cans. They don't have like a um a, a standardized trash pickup system where like a garbage truck can roll down the street and just pick up trash cans. So when you go to New York City, there's just like black trash bags dumped in the fucking street all the fucking time. And the, the garbage men like physically take the trash bags and throw them in their dump truck. Because um they the the city is so convoluted and so inefficient that they've been looking they've been doing an exploratory committee to try and discover the viability of using standardized trash receptacles so that trash people can pick up the trash without actually handling handling the trash bags and throwing them and this has been like a 10 year 100 million dollar exploratory probe into the viability of fucking trash bins wheelie bins on the street so that stinky poo poo garbage is not piling up literally everywhere in this major metropolitan city this is this is not an issue that happens anywhere else in the world it's only the united states that can fuck this up you think tokyo has an issue with fucking trash bins you think um shang high or Beijing can't can't discover the efficacy of a standardized dump come the fuck on imagine being a fucking New Yorker couldn't be me thank you for watching this clip this is Perspicacity remember to like and subscribe